everybody it's Carol here I've got a quick card to show you today that I've made using um, a lovely two stamp sets one of them is free it's in celebration I just got it today so I thought I'd better make a card with it because I, I love it the thank you is so big really a big stamp so and then you get all these other little sentiments with it and that is in the celebration that's up to the 31st of March you can order that for free when you spend 45 pounds there it is really nice and they've made really nice samples with it so there's quite a lot to choose from um, if you haven't got a catalogue please contact me or go to my website and look at the catalogue online if you don't want me to send you one the other stamp set is special reason this is a really nice I love all the words with this I'm lucky to have a good friend like you and I like there's no special reason for this card that's really nice so let's get making and I've also used a really different colour for me as well so it's melon mambo cardstock and i will show you how to do some masking as well so melon mambo is cut at eight and a quarter by five and 15 sixteenths of an inch so not quite six inches and then what i did was all i did was fold it in half line it up hold it and bone folder it bone folder it I don't know. there you go and then your piece of whisper white is four inches by five and a half that's the bit we need to stamp on so what we're going to do and also with this stamp set um, you do get you can buy dies and framelits to go with it not using them in this project but they are absolutely gorgeous so you can use that one to cut it out and leave it in the card and then that one will actually cut it out i have made another project today i'll just quickly i'll only show you a little bit of it because it's another video i'm making so this is the small ones so you stamp them out and then you don't do use that you use that one to cut them out because if you use that one that would leave it in the card so I'll, I'll be videoing that one shortly let's get all these little bits away okay so what we need out of here I used the big one and what I like is I don't know if you can see um, it's kind of stressed so you don't get a crisp image it's part of the stamp which is really really nice and then I used this one okay right and the thank you and the thank you is on wood so i haven't even got to find a block for it which is pretty cool right so because this is a really big stamp i take the ink pad to the stamp so normally we do um we take the stamp to the ink pad but for this this ink pad is one of the really old ones I've got and I think I need to re-ink it but there you go that's why I'm checking right get my card get my thank you there you go press it all around because it is really big okay and that's fine and then I need it and I'm going to put one of the flowers down there 
can leave it. Don't come off. And then one of the others just there. Okay. Now we don't need that one anymore. What we need is the leaf. And I used old olive. So this I'm using the card, the ink is melon mambo, and then I'm using old olive. Um for the ink also what I did was I stamped one and fussy cut it because this is going to be my template so this you put around you find the bit where is it there and you just hold it on and that's you masking it so let's have a look so if I mask that find the two there it is okay so just hold it in place get your leaf okay and just and when you take it off it looks as though it's behind the flower it's really clever okay let's have one just coming out there and you might only want a little bit, but it still looks really effective. Here you go, lining it up there. Okay. One. While I've got it, I'm not moving it. There's another one. Okay. Right. Let's get that out of the way. And you, you can keep using it. It's not going to hurt it. So then all I did was I put some Tombow. don't want to get it on there. I put some Tombow on the back. I didn't think it needed anything else. I didn't want to put ribbon or anything. Just think it looks lovely the way it is. Bring in the card and line it up. There you go. Okay, and there you have your card. Now, what you could do, oh, what have I forgotten? I've forgotten to sponge around the edge. And what I've noticed is I went over on the green there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some, I don't want to use, these are brand new sprinkles and they're not really the right colour. So what I want is some sequins. See if I can open them, that would be good, as long as they don't go everywhere. Right, so it's always happy accidents. So just to get rid of these little bits, I've got I don't know how I managed to get them, but I always do an odd number, so that'll be five, and then just select. So, I just need to take them out because I can't see them properly. Right, I like that colour. There you go. Yep. So, I'm going to put hide one there. See how it hides it? Really cool. There's another one. Come on. There you go. And now I'm getting them stuck to me, which is all good fun. There's another one. didn't think I was going to be sticking sequins but they look so I forgot one thing but I've added another there you go okay there's both cards so we didn't want sprinkles we'll get rid of the sequins 
must have some glue on me getting it stuck on me I don't know about you but today is Friday I think this will be out tomorrow and it is freezing cold here so right there it's a nice lovely and I really like the sequins there's a lovely little quick card for you thank you for watching bye Thank you.